Welcome to New Shooting Self Defenses Full Auto with Dimitri and Paul. Your home for self defense and self preservation since last week, current year, which is 2016. Last Last week, man, we've been we're old salts at this. We've been doing this for seven days. I remember back um, in day one what it was like. Now, seven days later. it's. I'm sorry, seven days and three hours? Seven days. Oh, I'm get sorry. It, please get it right. I don't want to jip us of the three hours. That three hours is what gives us the salt, the old salt title. Today That's... is a special show, though. Why? Because we have a guest. We do have a guest. Folks, we do have a guest in the studio today in addition to my dog, Mr. Maximo. We have a special, special guest. You will be hearing him periodically. His name? Mr. George. His name is Mr. George. Now, we have a strategy to try to keep George at bay. We're not sure that the strategy is working or not. I guess we're going to find out, and you guys are going to find out when you listen. By the way, do you want to let everybody know what I'm... what? Who is Mr. George? What is what is his his sense of being? How would how would a, someone on the outside looking in of George describe him? Mr. George lived in my house when I was a little kid. Yeah, living in yeah uh, in Northern California, we had a fireplace. And right, Mr. George would come out every night, every night, every and night, sing and sing little, songs and sing his little cricket songs. Sing. Oh, you just I thought you were gonna like build it up no. and then at the end like drop it that it's a cricket. It's but you couldn't. You, you don't have that power of of narrative that Mr. I have. Mr. George was my first pet, and then and then Mr. George allegedly died, and now we we did a show which we're going to bring back soon. We're not quite ready. We're going to bring back State of Wake, Mr. George, and we had an episode of State of Wake where Mr. George did. Make he an was appearance. a star in that oh, show, yeah. and that's when oh we were using a wet. Uh, Okay, everybody, brace yourselves. You may need therapy after I say this, especially you folks that appreciate bad audio being a hate crime. We were using, between the two of us, one Yeti microphone. Oh, my God. I know. It Not just so a Yeti bad. microphone, I but can't. it was one Yeti microphone for two dudes. We were mic sharing. I don't know. It, it was horrible. I didn't even know you that well back then to be yeah. mic sharing with you. I still don't on? know you well enough I'm to mic share with you. We need to move I know. On. So before we move on, I do want to say that we're going to do this. We're going to see what this is like. We're doing a slightly different format than the last again, show. Again, Paul. Well, we're always we're going to play with again. formats. I I was not going to share or change this, and Dimitri convinced me that when you're doing something right and people like it, what you need to do is change it. And yes, <laughs> that's brilliant marketing there. Don't, don't you have like let, a? Don't, you can't rest on your laurels. Don't you have a certificate from like uh, 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 Arizona Online or a, a whatever Phoenix, whatever that school is, University of Phoenix? I, listen, certificate for marketing or something. I have fourteen certificates. 14, oh, 14, fourteen certificates. I am an expert. He's never done marketing in his life, but he's got the certificates that show that he's a, a marketer. I, I and he's, he's the ad wizard that came up listen, with this plan. You can go and buy wallpaper, or you can just apply for these certificates. If they're <laughs> cheaper, you just glue them down, I, actually, and it's a great texture on the Very, walls. very good. Very good point. Excellent point. We are going to, instead of doing four segments, and so, I think we're going to kind of mix things up. We don't want to mix them up too much, but we're going to do four, three segments. So we're going to do two longer segments, and then, of course, we're going to do Happy Ending. Use protection. Dude, you always get it wrong. No, I got it right. You got it wrong. All right. It's useful protection. Use protection. New Shooting Self-Defense presents a State of Wake joint. Grab your beer, your ammo, and your Clipozine Glockomatic as we take you through a full auto hour of fast, funny, deadly, serious talk about guns. 
If you cry when someone draws a picture of a gun on a piece of paper in front of you, you best stay away because you are about to enter a gun-filled zone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Full Auto with Dimitri and Paul. Hey! I didn't see you standing there. How long have you been standing there while I was taking a shower? Ew, that's creepy. Hey, that's, that is creepy. Why are you standing there while I'm taking a shower? Where is this going? I don't get it. This is instead of saying welcome back. This is the audience is watching me take a shower, and I didn't realize they were there while I was. Dude, you ruin everything. You really do. Well, that sucked. Well, you welcome, found, welcome. This is full something. auto. This is full auto. New shooting self defense is full auto with Dimitri and Paul. Actually, next week it's just going to be Paul because Dimitri's oh, ticking me off. Dude. Seriously, we, are there any monkeys oh, oh, that are listening right it. now that are it. better qualified to do this dude, show than Dimitri? I got better than a monkey. Mr. <laughs> George. Mr. George, come on, hit it, George. Oh, George. Let, wait, let him speak. Mr. George. Nope. No, I will not allow silence on this show. Silence Dude, is death. Where, where's Mr. George? Mr. I think that you crushed Mr. George. I moved the shelf. He moved the shelf. And, Mr. Well, George is no more. His, his, his childhood pet, after all that buildup, he killed him. He moved the shelf and crushed is, him. Is this the memorial? This is this is the you know what this is the memorial <laughs> R.I.P. George Mr. George I'm sorry R.I.P. What a little picture of uh, if we could find a cricket holding a gun oh that would be sweet it Mr. Should... George but it would have to look R.I.P. Like... 1972 2016 that's <laughs> something like that how uh, how how old were you when you had Mr. George it must have been five okay so and... it might have been like. Like 1970, I, something around come there. Out and I used to pet him on the back, and he loved it. Oh, he did he? Like, chirpy, chirp. And you knew he loved it because he pet him on the back. Did he? Did he, he lap his? Away. Did he lap? Did he like lick you or? No, he what? would jump. Like he would actually crawl over to us. He only welcome, had one. welcome to the cricket show featuring <laughs> Dimitri. Dimitri. No, 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 just Dimitri. <laughs> the Dimitri. cricket show just featured Dimitri. Paul ain't got, ain't got time for that. Paul ain't got no time for that. So in this show, we are going to talk about robot gun detectors or Yay. future target practice in defense assault. And in Tech Tech, we're going to discuss an army of one or a network of many. Network. And finally, dude, you're stepping all over my... I spent a long time writing this and practicing this I'm, introduction. I'm adding color to you. You're your, totally crushing it. Like, over, not in a good way. You're overproducing it. Your so crushing is not in a good way. I'm trying to bring I you know down. You're, you're bringing me out of my high quality production. And a story, and, and finally, in the happy ending, a story with a Freudian something or other in. Oh, does it have to do with cigars? From, oh, it has to do with cigars. Well, let's just say it comes from the Longhorn Gowns. And it just, there's more than one horn. And some horns hate guns. <gasps> I'm just going to leave it at that. So we're going to get you juiced up and ready for full auto. Be prepared to enter a gun-filled zone. I got my gangsta guy here, yo. What up, cuz? Break yourself, break yourself. Break yourself. This is a ghost gun. This right here has the ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 magazine clip in half a second. We have federal regulations and state laws that prohibit hunting ducks with more than three rounds. And yet, it's legal to hunt humans. Say hello to my little friend! Trulia just said, well, that's it. We're, we're not doing, we're not do seeing that again. And imposed very severe, tough, uh, gun laws, and they've never, they haven't had a mass shooting since. But you know, semi-automatic weapons are not just about gun control. This is about national security. You know that these weapons can shoot down airplanes. <clears throat> break yourself! Break yourself! Break yourself! The big difference between an assault rifle and a hunting rifle is, frankly, the scope that one 
inputs on it, and scopes can be purchased online. So I want to see people, people disarmed. Permits, they actually I want people to disarmed that remain in major uh, cities. How's that for a plan? We cannot let a minority of people hold a viewpoint that terrorizes the majority of people. Could have been done on spur of the moment with a hunting rifle. Um, very easily, as long as it was a double shot weapon, they could, they could easily do it with something that you could purchase at a grocery store. Shout out to my little friend! I think the Second Amendment is in the Constitution so that we could have muskets when uh, the British people come over in 1800. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? You have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Hurt yourself! Cuz! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! 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 What's wrong with saying welcome back? You, yeah. What's wrong with Everybody you? who's listening to the show last week knows full well Okay. <laughs> that okay. You're that missed. A huge you're you're the assumption. dude that made the big deal about welcome you're back. A huge assumption that you actually have people who listen to the last show. I did actually. You know what? You want to know how many people listen to us live? Three. No, a little bit more. Three hundred. A little bit less. Four. A little bit. Oh gosh. You got to go like four, two ninety nine, five, two ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I was going. Jerkenstein. No, I don't know where you're going with that. It was over 100. It was 103. I was part right. I said three. 103 live. Well, 102 because I was one of the live lessons. So, well, actually, yeah, I was. I was manning. I don't know if it counted me as a live listener or not because I was manning the fort. I was. Uh, we are a pre-recorded show. Everybody, yeah, that's right. We're a pre-recorded show. You got a problem? Fight me. So. We pre-record it. I edit it. I edit out all the stupid um, things that Dimitri says. If you I save his neck. Him, I make sure that Dimitri doesn't become the next SJW win. victim. If you were to fight Paul. Because some of the stuff he says. Your chance of winning. Pretty, pretty, pretty small. Pretty, 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 good. pretty staggeringly pretty. small. Let's just, pretty. Say, let's just say marshmallow. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that slide. And I'm going to introduce our next segment. Not Which is guest? defense assault. Now, George, you killed Mr. George, so that was our only guest we had scheduled for the show. And it. once again, Dimitri has killed the guest. Defense assault robot gun detectors are future target practice. Security robot startup weighs mini IPO hopes to add gun detection capability. Defense assault facing the assault on our defense. Hey there. I'm just cutting carrots over here. I didn't see you walk into my kitchen. I didn't invite you into my kitchen. I don't even know. Could you please get out of my kitchen? I'm just trying to cut these carrots. Is that better than saying welcome back? No. I think no. it's better. I, 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 we, we need to have a survey How and see. Should like, we just say welcome Heidi back? Ho. Howdy ho, boys and girls. Oh, that's Mr. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas boo. There you go. I hope South Park doesn't sue us for that. South Park will never hear this show. Are you kidding? That's true. That's true. Huh. South Park will never hear the show. Who are we kidding? So we're, we're going to actually talk about security robot startup ways. Mini IPO hopes to add gun detection capability. So they got these robots. They look like. Now, listen, folks, I mean this in the most respectful, honorable way possible. With Christian love? With Christian love. They look like giant tampons on wheels with a smile, with a like a weird kind of snarly smile. That's what these robots look like. You, would you agree? I can't exactly not, say. Not tampons. I don't mean tampons. I mean like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that, tampons. Like, very familiar with tampons. So. Wait, you, you know, you have a wife. Haven't I, you ever come across in the bathroom? No. You, you've you lived a sheltered life, you poor young man. Yeah. Your wife must know that you can only, you can't handle reality too well. This is a guy who watches Bambi at least once a week. I do. It's wonderful. Keep, make the dream real. Now, did you do your homework and actually look at this and, and see what these things look like? Of course not. Of course not. So this is from Biz Journals. Biz Journals. Look, B-I-Z all I need to journals. know. 
D- dude, I'm going to make one comment on this whole section. I bring the pretty to the show, so don't okay. go down that okay. road. I'm going to bring one comment. And to the this. sexy. The most I bring important that one. too. If you're not doing anything. I actually bring the smart too. That's illegal. And the talent. You have nothing to worry about. I don't even know why I have you on this. Could you just leave? Because I think I got you this. You have nothing to worry about if you're not doing anything illegal. Oh, you're going to preempt and not so, even let me read what this is about. Uh, Nightscope hopes to raise money in a mi- mini IPO to help expand use of its security robots to more locations and to fund the addition of gun detection to its tech arsenal. And here we go. This is CEO William Santana Lee. And I got to read this, and I, this is going to be a whiny voice. You, so I apologize in advance, quickly? folks. Quickly. No, I, I'm not going to read quickly. I have to fill time. I'm, I'm, you know what? Time Anybody who's seen the movie Buffalo 66 knows what I mean when I say, Dimitri, we're spanning time together. That's what we're doing here. Let's just span time together, okay? My time is That's precious. what we're doing. We're spanning time together. Let's just do that. Let's just focus on spanning okay. time together. Listen, let me put this in perspective. I'm going to read for this you. now from you the need CEO. To understand. You need to understand. I visited Taco Bell before I came here. Good. You want this show to go quickly. I don't want it to go quickly because uh, I, I definitely I, I see viral video in my near future. <laughs> <laughs> I just, hold on. Let me get my camera set up. So this is the CEO, William Santana Lee, talking about adding the gun detection feature. We're all tired of watching the gun violence on a daily basis. We would like to add the ability to detect both visible and concealed weapons. But that will take some time and some money. So so they were inspired by Sandy Hook. After Sandy Hook, they said, we got to do something, man. Because people are walking around with guns, and if they're walking around with guns, it's just a matter and of Sandy time. We're going to kill everybody! Sandy Hook was done with a rifle, so they needed to develop technology to... To detect the, some dude walking, with a carrying <laughs> with a concealed rifle. <laughs> well, I guess you could conceal a rifle. It would be a little bit difficult. But I don't think this dude was concealing anything no. in that venture. The Mountain View Company's 300-pound robot, known as the K5 Autonomous Data Machine, also target practice, is currently... <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that name. <laughs> oh, dude. And when you, you see one going it. down the street, you got to show up. You got to show up with a spray can and spray a bullseye on it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If, 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 you, if, you, if you haven't sprayed... I, I think the way it would work is if you're the first to see it, you, you spray, spray the, the bullseye. Target. If you're the second to see it, you, you spray shoot it. the bullseye. Yeah, you spray it with bullets. Yeah, so when you're either spraying it or spraying it. Either way, there's spraying going on, and that dude is done. So it is currently being used to detect ab- abnormal events oh. and known criminals at locations in shopping centers and big campuses. Ah, uh, they could have used these down in Texas where the dildo girls are. But we'll save that for a future. And, th- and this isn't my – I understand that we usually don't say the word dildo, but it is – you'll you'll find out. I mean, everybody's heard the story. It's appropriate to the – It's appropriate. It's The context the is, context is everything here. Upcoming deployments are planned in Sunnyvale, Mountain View, San Jose, Sacramento, and Wait, Los California? Angeles. Wait, California? No way. Yeah. Big brother in Cali? Big brother in the Cali. That's like I right. Said, if you're not doing anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> right. And if you're if why would anybody need to conceal carry in in current year? When you have so many fine police officers around that are there to serve and, and protect. protect. Oh wait, that they don't have to serve and protect anymore. Mm. But wait. Oh, I'm whispering. I told you not to whisper. Wait, what was the whispering. what was the uh, judgment from the Supreme Court? Was it the Supreme Court? Yeah, refresh everyone's oh, memory on that. Yeah, call. what was that? Ju- what was that? Oh, well, you're not prepared for the show. You don't oh, have this man. ready. What happened to your notes? That's that's in the last show. Okay, look. I could go. I long, could go back to the last pause. show notes, man. No, no, let's go do a long, quiet pause. Oh yes, you we'll can do edit a long pause. You can uh, edit it out, and then I <laughs> you find your place, and then I can find my place, and I'll be like, your notes. "I knew it the whole time." Hold on, pause, pause. Where is it? Oh man, 
Supreme Court ruling no longer protect and serve. Aha! Hey, that you you guys heard nothing. Technology. This is all coming out of my mind. Technology. It's all coming out of my mind. I had it all memorized. Your it's mind is technology. Warren, Warren versus uh, District of Columbia is the oh, court nice, case. That nice. is that is, is the court case. That's that why they took about. those expressions or phrases off of every single squad car in America to protect and serve. And they're you like, you will seldom find that on a. That'd be great car. if they just like kept protect and serve and crossed it out, and then underneath just wrote in like crayon. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's just. Never mind. Psych your mind. How about to protect and serve? Scratch, scratch. To collect taxes. Well, they, yeah, collect taxes, revenue, whatever. Yeah. We 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 love the police. They're they're great comedy material. So. Honestly, without the police, we wouldn't have a show. Wow, crickets. We got crickets on that. Where is Mr. George? I don't know. I think you killed George. I think I did. I think you seriously killed George. I'm a little George concerned about He's our, We finally got a guest on the show, and <laughs> he killed a guest. Yeah. With my bare hands. Do you remember that episode when Dimitri killed George? Well, with my bear the guess, hands, right. like, with my bear. I hands. don't need no carry permit. I got these fingers here. All righty, all right. So, 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 give me your thoughts. In all seriousness, this is like the part of the show where we try to drop some serious uh, knowledge to on them. With the the name of this tool company, by the way, is oh, that's funny. It's a tool. No, it's company? not. No, it is. It's a it, that was a metaphorical company. That was a metaphorical a tool company. They're not a literal tool company. No, it's, they are a tool company. Well, yeah, they are a tool company. It's They're trying to save the baby whales. Nightscope. Nightscope. And they partner with Allied Universal Tool Company and Securitas Tool Company. So basically, they're developing a robot, and they think that this robot is going to have a good relationship with the people. They're developing a robot that will be able to detect, or so they believe, People walking around with concealed carry arms, whatever. Yeah, like I can't put it in a paper bag. Well, if it, I'm trying it doesn't to matter it. whether whether no, it if, if it's in a paper bag, they can, can they can detect it. So you imagine these robots, and they're they're tracking who the concealed carriers are, and they're filming who the concealed carriers are, and that's going into a database. And these robots, they're going on a routine pattern. Are you starting to feel threatened by this? Are you starting to feel that there's some serious, dangerous data collection that the government's going to be able to do through something like this? And how do you think the public's going to react when they see a tampon on wheels gathering up evidence, data, for people who dare step out of their homes and take defense into their own hands? My concern isn't so much that this little robot's running around. My concern is that it's made into a something to resemble a mailbox or a fire hydrant and it's static constantly in the neighborhood. No, it's it's movable. It, it that moves. Is, it moves. I get that. Oh, but I see the y- you're right. The That is the more dangerous, insidious. That's excellent point. So if this I see could a little be the tampon with a target so, on it, I I could, I'd pick it up and toss it in the river. Yeah, tampons yeah. going down. Yeah, that's going down it's the river. Get flushed. Tampons going down the river. <laughs> that's just, never mind. I I'm going to edit that out probably. Please, <laughs> I probably I probably won't edit it out since you want me to edit it out. I'm going to keep that part in. So, I think you have an excellent point here. This this could be something that could get everybody worked up. I'm certainly worked up about this mobile unit. Meanwhile, like the the. That thing that you think is a camera, which is bad enough on the stoplight, stop sign thingy, whatever. No, that's detecting who's who's concealed carrying, who's not concealed carrying, tracking as they go to work, where they go, and the patterns, and they start to make deductions. And yeah, there's some Ooh. creepy stuff there. Gathering there up and information. You never want would you never want a central authority to have too much information. And what I would recommend is taking a plastic gun, like the ones you use for training and putting it under your shirt, like a white t-shirt and just walking around and letting it like register. You're probably going to have to have something that looks like it has a firing pin in it. 
What? How would they detect a fire? I don't place? know. They no, they're looking super for patterns in your clothing and bulges. I don't think so. I think that they are actually scanning and detecting other with things. What? With like radar? Yeah, super duper radar stuff. Oh. It's, it's science. It's, oh, it's... Super duper radar stuff is sounds science. Sounds like you're becoming a mathematician. I am. <laughs> Again. <laughs> this, well, my... I. I I am learning Common Core, so that's oh, that's great. That's that math. That's where the mathematician comes in there. Although with with the mathematician Common Core, the setup is a it it takes a very long time to get to the trick at the end. A very unnecessarily long time when you do it the Common Core. Math yeah, this thing way. does not really upset me in any way. If they're they're so way out in left field. When when the stuff starts coming out and people start realizing that it's a complete and utter violation of your privacy, that uh, it's over. It's kind of like saying, "Hey, we have a robot that detects whether you're wearing pink underwear or blue underwear, men's underwear or ladies' underwear." It's I like, I think it's this it's is something that warrants uh, more than a passing concern. And actually, I think the more than passing concern is what you said with the 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 inconspicuous that's stationary what, yeah, targets that are gathering data those things are a lot bit a lot more of a concern than these but still and these robots are enough wait, wherever wait. you see this robot i don't i don't encourage anyone to destroy anyone else's property that's not how i roll but i am theorizing that anyone who sees this rolling tampon, tampon on wheels, will take it upon themselves to eliminate the potential threat. And they are threats. To me, they are far more of a threat than they are an asset. The invasion of privacy by the state is growing every year. There are bigger issues, I think, to be that we need to deal with. Uh, hey, this is our this is our defense assault story, and now you're going to tell me there are bigger issues. Screw you, man! You pick the stories next time, okay? You know what? I'm tired of always having I slave over a hot news feed all day, and then you come in and you just blow it off. Well, it didn't taste very good. Sorry. Right. Whatever. It, it, uh, you made me forget my point. It was a good one. It really? Okay, your point is. That you're not worried about this, but you are worried about there are bigger issues. What well, are the bigger issues? The bigger issues are that the the state is using the perception of of everyone dying of gun violence and terrorism and all this stuff to assert more control. They're they're finding that there are less and less and less in control, and the state is getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the week, by the year. Yeah, but and that's not our show, dude. Yeah, dude, but you're, so you're, they're you're finding... venturing off. And, well, maybe it is our show. You know it what? Is... If you say it's our show, you know what? You slave over the news feed. Go ahead. It's very important because they're going to use all sorts of technology to try and figure out what people are doing. This is just one component. This could just be a trial balloon. They could put a drone over the next uh, gun shop and watch who comes in and out of the gun shop and who's uh, taking pictures of people with a, a bag uh, that you made a purchase at a gun store. I mean, to me, that's far more insidious. That's that's far scarier because who who runs the Here, drone? Here's how this is scary to me. How it's scary to me is how does the public react? One of the things that in a video that I list, I watched a few of their promotion videos and I went through three laptops doing it but I managed to get through it finally cuz th the blood was shooting out of my eyes one of the videos they were claiming oh people just love the robots and they're just walking up and they're hugging them and this introduces a level of invasion of privacy that if our neighbors our wonderful lovely neighbors if they embrace this kinds of stuff this sets this sets you and I back. This this hurts our ability to lobby to assure that they do not con uh, assure that they do not continue to to invade our privacy and control. I thought you were going somewhere else with this, which begs a whole different question. If your neighbor 
put a device out on the sidewalk or in his front yard. I'd bash that thing to bits. And you knew that device was measuring what kind of underwear you were wearing, boxers or briefs. Uh, I'd bash that thing to bits. Uh, how many bags of groceries you were bringing into your house on a daily basis and, or and a weekly I, basis. And i tell you this. If I, if I know I'm going to a shopping mall where you have these types of robots, guess where I'm not going? Of course. But if, if someone in the private sector was using a device to spy on you, you would say, what the hell, man? And you would get together with your other neighbors, and you'd all go over there with axes and pitchforks and sledgehammers, and you bust it up. And if he came out and said, yeah, man, that's my toy. That's my private mommy name. You'd say, F you. You want some of this? Right? Yeah, I'd you probably no I'd would respond. Tolerate. I would respond. I peed on your drone. I peed on your drone. That's what I would do. And I would pee on his drone. If so, it, a land drone. It's not a flying drone. So, but but why drone. is it okay for the state to come out and spy on well, people? Well, it's not the state, but it is the state's going to be the primary. Of course. Although they're. You know why? Because George Bush allowed for this to happen. The, the conservative. It's all George Bush's fault. Well, it's not all. It's the big fault. state starts to develop in the late 70s. You know, the we just lost grows. our all of our, our three conservative give, listeners. I don't care. The neocons could go, you know. Oh, where. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. That is inappropriate, young man. The, the, I, I am going to have to flog you after the show. George W. 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 Uh, w. I'm, I'm George W. Implemented w. everything that the progressives wanted. Well, because he is a progressive. so Big state. And he big increased old daddy. the big state, and so did Bill Clinton. The Bushes sold out the Republicans, and that's why they have a big problem now. And the big state, the NSA, and all those guys, we love them, by the way. Oh, we do. We're so happy that they're listening. At least I hope oh, yeah. they're listening, because they're not listening. We don't rate. Well, I don't want to not rate. Dude, we lose half of our audience. <laughs> right there. We lost. Yeah, if we chase oh, away dude. the NSA, I think the NSA accounted for like 80 of our listens <laughs> last week. So, but they messed up, and they've they've allowed this to happen. And they're okay with it, because they feel that the public is dangerous, and it needs to be managed. Well, we we could do a whole show uh, on that, but we'll, it, keeping um, this very narrowly defined, what we have here, if I can get to a wrap-up of this shoot segment. The things. If you're carrying and the thing comes up to you to monitor, man. You, you take e your gun out and you Either shoot it or avoid it. Shoot yeah, it or avoid it. pop it. I'm saying I'm not where, the mall violence. that you know where it's at, the mall where you know where avoid it's at, it. you don't go. It, but these things are in college campuses. Unfortunately, if you're stuck in a college campus, you, just, you can't just leave like a college campus so easily. So you, you, you've got a real problem there. You have an enemy among you, a really cute-looking tampon on wheels. If a tampon could be cute, it's kind of I would cute. like to reemphasize this show is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, yes, this show when is I for entertainment shoot, purposes when only. When I say shoot the Any damn relation thing, to actual persons, living or dead, it's purely when I coincidental. Say, when I say shoot the damn thing, if you take what, any, I, what I really I was mean... Gonna, I was going to get the whole thing out, but... No, what, I, what I really mean is, look, if I were to say to destroy pub, private property and governmental property, I might go to jail for that. But what I would rather say is, like, when the stuff went down in you, Ferguson and the guy said, burn down the town, burn the whole city down... That was a metaphor. Yeah. He, he that was, was okay a metaphor. For him to say, so what I'm saying is, just burn them. Don't shoot them. If it's okay, if if he can get away well, with that's saying true. burn the whole town, if down, you I'm can just burn, say, just you know, don't don't destroy it, just burn it, just burn it, it. <laughs> just burn it. Because that's different. clearly it's that's different. It's, Although I have to say, you've got some issues there. You're you're not representing the right belief system to have the type of backing needed to pull that off. So. Just Once look. again, let's just say if, the if, just if you ever burning, take any advice on this show, which you, you will be destroyed. So don't Correct. don't take any it's advice. It's all entertainment. So like Purely if you entertainment got a bottle of only. lighter fluid and put a lighter in front of it and squirted it at this thing, <laughs> That's, uh, I'm not saying you should do that. This is, but that is kind of like, imagine the visual. That'd be pretty awesome. That? Wouldn't that be <laughs> I would actually, dude. We should stage I would that. Watch we should get that like a video can. over and over dude, and over. Let's again. get a garbage can and flip it upside down and put a goofy smiley face on it, like this thing has, and just see how much burning we can do. 
for entertainment purposes for entertainment only. purposes only. So my summary is this: this is why I'm concerned, and then I'll let you do the summary of your own. This to me is a test of just how much. I understand most of the people that are listening to this show. I, I know that, that you're not down with this. But the real concern is for, for everybody out there, your neighbors. How much are they going to embrace this type of technology? Because it's a cute little robot. And, and in the story, they're talking about people running up and hugging the robot and wanting to take pictures of the robot. I don't know how much of that is marketing hype or how, if, if that really is the reaction that people get to this robot folks we're in a lot more trouble than any of us thought we were because if you're embracing the type of technology that can enable a central authority to track in great detail the migration of individuals who are capable of defending themselves you're signing up for something really bad. And my point is, if you're not doing anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. All right, right, right. And in one, la one last uh, closing note, I'm, I'm going to leave a little closing note here. You've got to get the last word in again. They appear to have put, this is from the article, Nightscope appears to have put behind an incident last month in which one of its bots knocked down a toddler at the Stanford Shopping Center, a new safety feature that the company said should, should prevent that from happening again was announced earlier this month with the child's family. That's right. We won't roll over your toddlers anymore, we think. And we'll leave it at that. On the other side of the break... Dimitri and I will get into a discussion. I'm not sure how this goes. We've got some number of things prepped. I'm not sure what part we'll cover. But essentially, it's a little talked about aspect of self-defense. And that is, it's kind of related to this. It's effective networking because certainly we're talking about central authority tracking networks. How do you form an effective network if... And how the balloon goes off. And how do you become valuable? To yeah, that's the another. Network? Yeah, yeah. It's not just about the network. That, like, ask not what your network can do, do for, for you, you but, but what you can, can do, do for your, your network. network, dude. That's going to be the name of the segment. I think I, need I have a T-shirt. I, I, I yes, I have I an army of one or a network of many, but that's going to be the name of this segment. Nice. And we'll see you on the other side. The Gung-Ho Commandos, best equipped boys in the field. All the equipment you need for fun and excitement in the Gung-Ho Commando Outfit by Marks. Just look at all the things you get. There's a battle map and direction-finding compass. A cap-shooting automatic with gun belt and holster. A helmet, a canteen, complete mess kit and poncho. You get a cat-firing Gung-Ho hand grenade. Yeah, and look here, this flashing battery-powered machine gun with moving ammo belt shoots rapid-fire bullets. There's a real-looking walkie-talkie, too, and a field pack. You got non-com stripes, medals and battle ribbons, even dog tags. It's all for fun and excitement. Gung-Ho! Get the outfit with all the equipment you need. The Gung-Ho Commando Outfit. Gung-Ho! By Marks. What does freedom mean? Tune in to LRN.FM to find out. LRN.FM is the Liberty Radio Network, a collection of live talk radio and podcasts, all coming from a principled pro-liberty perspective. LRN.FM show hosts aren't left, right, or conspiracy kooks. You can tune in 24-7 to LRN.FM via your phone, computer, satellite, and more. Listen free anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government control 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up in any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the Bipcot No Government License. Cell 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at Get Cell411.com. That's get cell411.com. 
Full Auto is intended for purely entertainment purposes. Any relation to any actual person, living or dead, is purely coincidental. We are not responsible for the results that might befall you. Did you ever actually take our advice about anything? Full Auto is a tip not no gov licensed show. This means you are free to reuse this content any way you see fit, so long as you are not a representative or advocate of government. For more information, go to vipcat.org. And now, without further delay, here are your hosts, Dimitri and Paul. Welcome back. Oh, come on. Both of your intros back. And oh, you dude, just I'm said welcome so... back. You're not even trying. Well, come on, come up. With Can't some you mix it up? I did. I no, have no been. No stupid freaking character. I chopping. like creepy uh, in back whatever thingies. That I ain't like creepy. it. Creepy. That's just gay. It's not. It's w- gay. not that there's anything wrong with no, that. No, it's not gay like orientation. It's gay like Happy. lame. Like, no. like you can't say that. No, you can't do that anymore. You can't. When you use that word in that way, you are being. Uh, uh, well, a racist, homophobic. Have you looked at me? Republican. Have you have you looked at me? Christian, white male, okay. heterosexual, white male. The heterosexual part is right. I that's debatable. The, the other parts. I've heard stories from oh, some of his college right. friends. Christian is right. Heterosexual is right. White. That's almost. Oh, yeah, almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. He's got an almost there, folks. He's an almost. Yes. You know so, what? When you when you have that selection for a race, you know what? You should just write down. Other. Just write down almost. Yeah. No, just oh, almost. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, almost. what's your race? Oh, I'm an almost. Almost. <laughs> I'm an almost. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I don't give a rat's ass about what people think. That's the word I chose. You know why? Because where I come I, from, I, I don't when either. You say, I'm just. Uh, when you say that's, I'm just playing the gay. PC game. When you say that's gay, everybody. Understands. Oh Oops. no! You you dropped the f bomb. Well, you can, you know what? That's the first f bomb of this beep? show. You should beep that. I I may beep it. If you, you folks listen and I and beep it out, that meant that I was okay. That's all right. That's because it was a very long and windy. <laughs> if you hear the beep out, then that means that I did my due diligence and I worked it. And if you don't hear Look, the beep out, I had a really important. busy week and I just whipped this out. It's very important because the there show. are lots I'm of children. I'm just whipping the show out. That's all I'm doing. I'm only children, whipping the show out. Children and adolescents. Adolescents? Adolescents. Children, I want to warn you. Whoa. Listen to this show. It's, you know, it's on PBS and all the ki- moms on uh, you know, have their kids watching the show, so it's, it's very just, important. Not we, to we are sure. carried by PBS, yeah. Paul's broadcast system, or something. Paul's bull. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> bull. Yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I said the f bomb, but I'm not going to say that word. Okay, no, because I, I draw the line there. I draw the Wait. line there. So, what, what the hell were we talking about? We're we're actually transitioning to so. What we're going to talk about here... Oh, I know. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. We're actually in Tac Tech, and we were going to rename Tac Tech. I have an army of one or a network of many. What was the new the title? I forgot. Mean? It's just a lame title, I know. We're going to have to come up with that. We had that better... What was the better title? Now I remember. When I listen back, and I as I edit this, I'll be like, Oh, that was the title, yeah. Dude, just put it back in, just like with a very different sound scale with a, in the yeah. background. So you like hear stuff in the background. I think that would be funny. Well, it doesn't matter. What we're going to be talking about are networking, in Not light the... of or in the context of of being prepared for a situation, whether it's caused by a disaster or whatever reason, like with the Cajun Navy, what they faced. Do you have a network of folks that you can rely on? And if you don't, how can you get it to some degree? We're not going to get into great detail about how to get it. But actually, we're not going to talk so much about how to get it, but the type of network that you, be, you should be a part of, how you can make yourself useful, some basic networking tips. When you say network, I'm thinking of like, oh, I'm going to get a job in the office and I'm going to explore the corporate world and I need to, you know, to develop a network to, you know, get my next job. Obviously, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. Tactic, the high and low tech and tactics of self-defense. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just over here. 
I'm just gluing together Be my creepy. Titanic model wearing wearing my PJs, my Batman PJs. Glad you could come Do in. Do you have a sweater on? Do you have an extra tube of modeling glue on you? Oh, it's sniffy really good. <laughs> it's sniffy really good. One for me and one for the model. <laughs> That's inappropriate. It is totally. So we're back, but we're not going to say. We're not going to say it. We're talking networking. So I'm going to actually, I want you, Dimitri. The audience. Oh, wait, me? Yeah, you. Oh, okay. Dude, I, I really do. <laughs> we set the show up and let everybody know about George. Mr. Yeah. George. George is dead. George, <laughs> he dead. He was chirping away, and he was behind the shelf. We determined he was behind I, the shelf. I pushed the shelf, <laughs> and I didn't hear him no more. His childhood pet from 1970 he, he killed. He dead. <laughs> that's, that's hardcore. So... I'd like you to set this up. I think a good place to start when we are thinking about networking is describe the reality in Greece on the island that you came from, both, well, both in the past and today. Well, the Greek government, having gone hardcore left, socialist, progressive uh, decades ago, um, has become a failed state, pure and simple. Yeah. And people were bypassing and uh, avoiding and finding ways around the failed state. And a true gray market and black market developed around it, as in most socialist slash Marxist enterprises. The free market will find its way in. Why? Because people are people no matter where you go. People like to eat, live, and sleep. And yeah, and if poop. you got a chicken and I'm hungry, I'm not going go to go to the government. I'm going to find a way to get that I'm chicken in my mouth. To the government to say, I bought this chicken. Here's your piece of the chicken. You deserve a piece of it because that's the sales tax. So people found a way around these institu the, that horrible institution decades ago. So. When you're in rural or small town Greece, and I suspect this is the case everywhere in the world, but in the village setting, you don't rely on the government for pretty much anything. But when you're in the city, everybody, and I mean everybody, is dependent on the government. In the towns, you know your cousins, you know your uncles, you know who you can trust. And this market develops around it. When you need something done, you don't go to the tax man and say, hey, I want to put a new roof on my house. What's the cost of that? Well, oh, you have to pay the government 20% of the cost of the roof. Well, guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to the government to tell them I'm putting a new roof on my house. I'm just going to call But if Uncle you have George. nothing to hide. Right. Of course. The You're going to call on George? The robots. Uncle You're, George. You invoked Uncle, Uncle George. George? Not, mis, not Mr. Uncle. <laughs> it's very You're going to call Uncle George very and different say, guy. I need a roof. And he's going to say, well, the government wants 20% of that. And you're going to say, well, why don't I just give you 10% of that? And everybody keeps their mouth shut. And you just got the job done for 10% less. And Uncle George got paid 10% more. So you're always going to cut out whoever's trying to get in on the deal when, where, where networks, you can and, yeah. and and on you you do that when the cost of doing it the legal way is just too high correct so people create these networks now i'm not saying that's the kind of network that we should be talking about because it's kind of well let's talk about the network in terms of what makes that network work trust how 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 how's that come about? History. My you know, father you know the knows. People. My father knows your father. My grandfather knew your grandfather. You know. You know my family. When my family gives their word on. So something. if you're if you're building a network, you're not going to have that type of generational trust. But you can build trust in other ways, right? Correct. Absolutely. Also, something else about that network. You're talking about. You need the roof done. Capabilities. Capabilities, I, we get part. to that, but 
you know who can do what. Correct, because people have reputations. You you have a relationship with people, so you know this person can do this, this person can do that. It it brings me to Nehemiah, who was a, a prophet in uh, the Old Testament, the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was in the Persian Empire. He was in the, the Jewish, the, the captivity, and he went to Cyrus the Great, and he said, I want to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And what you see in the book of Nehemiah, for large parts of it, you see all this, this family is in charge of this section and did this, and this family is in this section and did this. He knew the families. He knew the type of skill sets that the families had. He could identify it, and he could point them where things needed to get done. So one of the key parts to your network is being aware of who can do what and getting that person to the place where they can be of the most benefit. And it, in the system that we currently live in, it encourages people to be scattered. And uh, disconnected. And disconnected, absolutely. And so you are absolutely more, re- you rely on the state. You have to. You don't know a lot of people who have their own transmitters to transmit their own TV stations. But they exist. There's plenty of them that exist. You just don't know them. Correct. But they exist. So the homework here for everyone is to really sit down and think about what your needs would be in a survival situation in, in a whether it's short m- midterm long there're different needs well I, i'm not saying an emergency survival situation necessarily but more mid to long even just surviving day to day find out who who's around so you, you. mean even even outside of the cuz i i'm i'm thinking we're looking at being prepared for something, some sort of ca- catastrophe, whether it's natural, man-made, or whatever, that there could be a prolonged period of time where things you're are thinking, shut down. You're thinking SHTF. I am thinking SHTF, exactly. That's what we're focused on here. So it's not so much about your everyday needs, although in building a network like this, you're going to find that that network immediately becomes useful. You can t- look at the Cajun Navy and where the Cajun Navy probably formed. We're not 100% sure, but the Cajun Navy most likely, from what it looks like to, to me at least, most likely it formed from dudes and dudettes who knew each other and they were already doing stuff with each other well before this. They knew... I knew that you had this boat and you could do this, and we did stuff together. We, you know, rescued a puppy sometime in the past, or or whatever. So the network it can immediately help you in the now, but it's most useful, uh, its potential best useful element will be how it could help you and how you could help it in the event that. Things go really, really like south. Yeah, like yeah, if Donald Clinton wins. Yeah, I, <laughs> if Donald Clinton wins, we're in trouble. <laughs> I see it differently. Hate that guy. I, I see. I see creating networks of people around you, whether it's through your church, your synagogue, your mosque, whatever it is, with people who are capable. Uh, f- find out who the welders are. And then Get you to know them. Find out who the bricklayers are. Get right. To know whether them. it's your church carpenters. or yeah. whatever organization, entity right. you belong to. Start to understand what people can and can't do. And start to incorporate those people into your group of friends. Invite them over for picnics. Get, learn who they are. Build friendships. Extend your capabilities to them and say, hey, by the way, I am a metal fitter or a, a fabricator. If you ever need something, let me know. And, and then and, and help people out. And then you get to the the other part of this which you had suggested earlier and that is be useful. Absolutely. You, if you yeah. don't if you if you're looking at a network, you identify where you may help hey, d- d- work on developing I those think skills. The easiest way to de- to develop a good network ar- around you is by being the person you're looking for because other people will, will be attracted to that. 
Be the network you hope to see. Yes. Yes. So if you if you have skill sets that others would find attractive or useful in uh, in bad situations or even in day to day life, you're going to attract people, better or worse, for better or worse, uh, who might need your help. And as you figure out who are the capable people who you're going to have around you, yeah. you can be a capable person too. You'll be contributing to the network, not, you know, just sucking off of it. Yeah, don't just suck on the teat of network because the no. network is not government. It's a very small teat. <laughs> yes, it's a very small teat. Nehemiah was very useful to the network. He was the facilitator, but he wasn't just the facilitator. He's the guy who got the material, the resources. He got Cyrus to give him the resources that were needed to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And he was the one who also, he went out and blazed the trail. He, he really was the network that he wanted to see. He, he risked it all. He had all this vast wealth that he had with him training on up to uh from uh uh Babylon to uh Jerusalem and that took some mighty fine courage cuz in those days the highways were not nearly as as safe as they are today well they didn't have squad cars that were there to protect and serve well they that serve and protect that's Sorry. yeah that's another so story. Going, but going back to the village scenario, which kind of relates to what you're talking about, we're not talking about being cheapskates who just are trying to avoid the government and every po uh, possible opportunity. We're tra talking about being realistic. You, In the Greek situation, you have people who live in villages and towns all over the country who realize that the government was – incapable of facilitating even the most basic needs. So what did they do? They developed their own systems to handle their needs. True gray and black market developed not because people were out to be selfish and not help their, uh, their common uh, culture or country, but because the government was so incapable of, of producing goods and services that they had they found the need to do it themselves. I, I, there's nothing wrong with being selfish. I, I laud. I think selfishness is an, is, is an admirable quality. Especially, uh, uh, selfishness that's open and honest selfishness is admirable. Mm -hmm. When you lie about it and pretend that you're being altruistic, uh, that's not a matter altogether. And you were going on a road there that I don't want to go down. I don't, I don't really care to put myself in a position where I feel like I have to justify my actions by saying, no, I'm working for the good of the community and the good of the whole. It's in my best interest to be useful to the network. Because if I'm useful to the network, the network will be useful for me. If I'm useful to the government, by the way, the government isn't necessarily <laughs> going to be useful for me. What's, what's the new expression we came up with? If the government is doing something for you, it's doing something to you. Yeah, if it's if if the government is for you, it's against you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but my my point it comes is, with a with 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 a gift in one hand and a tax in the other. But my point is that these people didn't have this grand scheme of being anarchists and you know. No, they weren't rebelling against the government. government. They exactly. They wanted to live. They wanted to eat and crap and right. and eat and and sleep and have TV and and the government was an impediment. So they worked their way around it and developed systems and networks that actually worked. And when you look at at the pure, I mean, it is a true depression that that country is in right now. A depression. The people in the villages and the towns. They're living their lives much the same way that they did 10 years ago, 50 years ago. Just with iPads. 100 years ago. Not much has changed. Except for iPads. The people who are suffering are in the cities who were relying on the government and the organizational effectiveness of the government to prevail when the government showed that it was incapable. And I hate to tell you, 
but it ain't that different over here. When you compare apples to apples and you see the goods and services that were provided by the government there that was on borrowed money, it ain't that different. I, I think we're, we're, we're kind of running out on this segment, so I think we're going to definitely – I'm I'm not sure that we're going to do this, but I think we should do a part two next week for the networking. And get more into what you have to offer. Yeah. And so, you might be surprised at what you have to offer the network. I think most people think that they needed skill sets like being fabricators and robot designers. And yeah, ne- Nehemiah wasn't necessarily the – he wasn't the skilled wall builder, yeah. but he was a, a great facilitator. You could be a facilitator. Right. Something as simple as having a TV antenna may make you – an asset right. to the network. And not, you have it and you know how to use it and operate yeah, and it's, it. And it's operable. So what we what we basically covered in this segment was the first step is, or the first part is, do you have people around you that have the multiple skill sets that you think that you would need to do well in a, in a system without... To advance your well-being. To advance your well-being, How's yes. That? In and, good times and bad. And then the second question is, are you a useful member of that network? And those are the those are the two questions that we'll leave you with. It may, next week, we'll get into a little bit more also with, well, when you have a network, what do you do to kind of assure that the network stays, uh, has its integrity maintained? And pay everybody. Other, Big well, time money. I don't. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get ready. For something awesome. Is it going to hurt? Well, it depends on how you take it. (laughs) Oh, stop. (laughs) Yes. Coming up on the other side of the break. Our happy ending has a Freudian something or other in it. And it has to do with Texas Longhorns. Ouchie, that sounds like it might hurt. You're playing Hunter Spot the game. You load and fire. Take your power, sign your name, and cock and fire. With Johnny Eagle, you can miss. You've never seen guns like this from Johnny Eagle. Now take your army gun in hand. You load and fire. With Johnny Eagle, you command. You load and fire. With Johnny Eagle, lots of fun. You've never seen an army gun like Johnny Eagle. Look at these real trophy wall plaques and think how swell they'll look in your room. Get them in sets or separately. Magumba, Lieutenant, Red River, from Johnny Eagle, by Tupper. State of Wake is Liberty Edutainment that asks the question, what's your state of Wake? If you don't subscribe to State of Wake, Liberty will be detained and roughed up even if it isn't breaking the law, even if it totally complies. So don't be a state of on state base. Subscribe to State of Wake so Liberty walks free. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Full Auto across our network. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Full Auto Show. On Spreaker, you can find us at spreaker.com backslash show backslash Full Auto. We post our latest episodes on YouTube at youtube.com backslash C backslash State of Wake Show. And if you want to write to us, you can email us at show at fullautoshow.com. For all of the links and latest news on our show, go to our website at fullautoshow.com. And we're back. Better than we were before. Better, stronger, faster. More powerful. How was that? Was that better? The the radio host crashed and burned upon re-entry into, from space into <laughs> I Earth. Love, I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> but we have the technology. We can rebuild the radio hosts. And now they're faster, louder, more obnoxious. The six million dollar radio host. Oh, dude, six million dollars. Six million awesome. dollar radio host, dude. Yes. Can you imagine the studio? Wait. We'd have like girls dude. in bikinis giving us beers. Wow. Uh, Seriously, my like wife. You wouldn't wa- my wife doesn't listen. She doesn't to this listen show. to this show. Neither Your wife does. She is gonna now, like, though. Dude, are you gonna? She be- is gonna now. Guess who's gonna? Guess who's gonna? <laughs> Dimitri, Make sure. are you going to hang are out you? in his basement again? Yeah. 
This is annoying. <laughs> you got to put the children to You're bed. You're there every day and, and night and morning. And Who put that idea in your head? Paul did. <laughs> the figures. <laughs> right. So this is the happy ending. Use protection. And then you never get it right. No, you never get it right. No, I get it right. Use full protection. I tell Did you, you say what. Use? I'm going to right now with I the magic did. of science, I'm going to play the bump and the the the, the sound bump for this segment. And when you hear, everybody hears the sound bump, you're all going to hear use full protection and happy ending. Remember folks, use full protection that's that's you see that's use, use full protection protection no it's use full protection it's not use protection it's use full protection just you get it right say it your way and i'll say it my way i like to be concise and to the point you like to dribble on and talk and go on diatribes and add super superfluous add super superfluous add superfluous, add superfluous. Superlative. I would like a superfluous, please. <laughs> superlative. Ask not what your superfluous can, can do, do for, for you, you, but what you, you can, can do, do for your superfluous. You, you know what is strikingly missing, Mr. George? I think you killed Mr. George. Mr. George is dead. We had this bill. We're like, man, we're gonna have to do something to Dude, make gotta, Mr. George we work. Pull this, we got to pull this whole cabinet apart i gotta find george <laughs> he might just be stuck <laughs> under there i don't think i think he, he can't get his little legs together he's like trying to cricket and he can't he's like oh, 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 oh. maybe i ripped off one of his cricket legs. oh man so he's like solo cricketing he's like one the sound he's Dude, like that boot the zen buddhism like their, with the one sound of one hand clapping the sound of one leg cricketing call. That's their love that's, call. I just, it's the sound of one leg cricket. I doomed him to loneliness. Yeah. Yeah. Because he only has one leg. He's better off dead. Yeah, Seriously. I, at this you know point, what? he's better off dead. We should feed him to your iguana. I don't have an iguana. Get one. We got a cricket. <laughs> I'm not we need going to, to do get something one. with it. We need to get rid of the evidence. I'll tell you what, why don't we get into this segment here? And uh, let's try to get this show over because oh, I know you got to get to bed early. I do. And I have to get to bed. Actually, I don't have to get to bed early. My mom lets me stay up as late as I want. That's lovely. So this is uh, this is actually from stateofwake.com. No dildo will stop a man, or a woman for that matter, from standing up for the right to carry arms. The ladies of UT, that's University of Texas to you and me, who thought they would shut down concealed carriers with their Cox Not Glocks campaign, got a wonderful surprise from our perspective when the pro-concealed carry crowd answered by calling the bluff of these ain't your daddy proud of you now, gals. Go ahead, carry your cocks. Cl cocks and glocks can coexist. And that, my friends, is the truth. So basically, the Texas Students for Concealed Carry uh, answered the, the, well, you know, it's just absurd that you can carry a handgun, but you can't carry a cock. And the Texas Concealed Carry dudes were like, yeah, you, you yeah, yeah, we, we, hey man, coexist. So they made these coexist things with a, with a cock and a Glock, like crossing together. So do they have like holsters with dildos in them? Is that what I'm understanding? I don't know. It's, it's quite, quite, quite interesting. But you, you think about the fact, did I say it's quite interesting? That's probably the most boring phrase that you could say on radio is, Antiquine, you know what I thought about that, This Frank? is interesting. I thought, no, it was quite interesting. It wasn't interesting. It was actually quite interesting. What you have here are a bunch of, and I'm using this phrase uh, colorfully because we're talking about college boys. So let's think about this from a college boy perspective. A bunch of hot chicks walking around with dildos. So the question is, are they, they they gave away four thousand some plus dildos. Wait, are they like against holding a, an actual cock? Did I say that loud enough? No, no. Are they it's against, so like, if you walk there and like zip down your pants and say, "Hey, I got that, a cock," that would, would be, you like to hold my cock? Would that, that be appropriate? That would be inappropriate. inappropriate? They, they, Why? Only if it's a big black rubber cock. 
Like it's only that appropriate. is the only one that but you can hold in public. a real big black cock, that's yeah. not appropriate. No. That would upset people. Of course, the question I have is, where did this thing come from? Because it came, it came out of the blue. Stupid world. It came. It was very well funded. It came with thousands of dildos that they were able to hand out. And those are it expensive. Came, if you go to buy one, dude. Oh wait. I'm I don't sorry. know. I have sorry. no idea. How many do you have? Never mind. I don't want to know. There's certain <laughs> things that you don't want to know about your friends. The amount of dildos these, that they have. That would be one of them. Were these just like? Did, it's hard to do powered? this segment, but it, it's needed. Were these powered dildos? No, were they, they were. They were latex. They were, they were the latex variety. No power. No batteries. No batteries. So it wasn't an no, assault. No assault dildos. dildos. No, it no, wasn't they a would black never do that. assault dildo. These are like these are like uh, like pump there action were no manual. revolver. They were manual. Yeah, manual. They were so manual. there were no like night lights on them or no, laser no pointers. Scopes, nothing. No, no laser pointers. No, no <laughs> scopes on their cocks. Nothing like that. Nothing nope. Like nope. That. nope. There were some pistol handles though. Oh, so that's, oh, that's interesting. We're getting in a little little gray area here. Was, so were there any French ticklers? This is important. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't go down this road. But w- before I was really, really rudely interrupted. Where did they get the money for this? Wait, where did this go- come from? This came full form. This is. This is. They. They handed out. They had. They had. Nice T-shirts. They had really, really well-designed graphics. This was highly marketed. That somebody put a lot. This was not a grassroots effort. And I just, I just wonder how many people stood in line to get that cock, that dildo, dude. That that were like, line for cock. yeah, man, I got a Glock in my pocket, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this cock, dude. You know, you know that's true. You know how many? I, I certainly, I would probably. I don't need these things, but just to see, I would take it and I would, I would, I'd what? probably, I'd find one of those robots, one of those tampon <laughs> robots. I'd super glue it on. I super glue it on. No, that would be useful. Dude, but I would take one of these not things. Not one. You'd need to get. Like I'd 50. keep coming back just just to cost them money, just to Can to gum up the works. The robots with how like many 50 did of that? Those things like of various shapes, sizes, and colors. That would be a cool looking robot. And then if it knocked over the toddler, there would be cushion. You, it and, wouldn't be and, so and hard. Now to, Brett to Sanders yeah. made a video. Brett Sanders uh, and also the uh, a few folks from the Do Not Comply group down there in uh, in Texas, along with Eric July of Backwards, who is going to be on our show. Yay. Well, he will have been on our show, Disassociation Nation, by the time this airs. They did a video. <laughs> in which they, this girl, she's a one of the Costco with Glocks activists. Was she and hottie? She was. She, I'm not going to say that. I was she I, cute. I'm. <laughs> would your wife be jealous? My wife would be jealous if yes. Okay, so she's in a apartment bikini? and she's, she's a holding bikini? a big black dildo in a, in a bikini. And then somebody rudely enters in her hotel in her room, and the person that enters her room uh, it's Eric July who's playing the role of a communist uh, something or other, and uh, she tries to hold him off with the dildo. But well, Good I'm word. not going to tell you the rest. You got to see the video, so well, you got to look a it video. up. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a YouTube part. video. It's pretty oh. awesome. Look it up. So I, is she in, I can't she, remember the title of the video. Hot? I all you all you want to do is talk about inappropriate she, things. Like, I mean, just because I mean this segment was hard enough. Dressed. Oh gosh, I just said this segment was hard room, enough. We're talking about in a hotel mind. room. You let that slide. Hard enough. I just walked right into a very enough. inappropriate joke, and for, you just let it slide. For, oh, and I never mind this. You cannot help but be in double entendre land when you're doing this segment. No matter what you say, really. No matter what comes up. See what I mean? <laughs> right. I'm keeping Go ahead. quiet. Do, do, do you have any closing the, remarks? Because yes. we're 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 about done here. Was she wearing scantily? Was she wearing scantily wearing clothes? Oh my gosh! You're still on this. Yeah. Go look up the video for yourself, What's and then it you could. I can't remember. You know what? What I gotta? You, you bring it up, and you don't know I what it's called. Find this video. Okay. It was so Let's awesome. It was it was awesome. And I'm, I'm I'm actually going to. I'm going to Why don't pause you speak this into your phone? Second. Why don't you speak into your phone again? The name of the video is "Never Met Her." 
never met her short film. Look that up on YouTube. It is awesome. It is really the video itself is a happy ending. It's use it's, protection. Use full oh, protection. Yeah. Use full protection. Use, All right. baby girl. Yeah, we're gonna use full protection. We're not gonna any, we're not gonna go. Uh, so I'm sorry. Know. The image of one of these robots running around with big dildos super glued all over it that should be the last thing that should, that's that's, take, that's that's the, the happy away. ending you should that is the happy of happy endings be sure to like share comment and subscribe to full auto across our network you can find us on facebook at facebook.com backslash full auto show on spreaker you can find us at spreaker.com backslash show backslash full auto we post our latest episodes on youtube at youtube.com backslash c backslash state of wake show and if you want to write to us, you can email us at show at fullautoshow.com. For all of the links and latest news on our show, go to our website at fullautoshow.com. So, folks, I want to I wanna thank everybody who's joined us and, 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 and just can say we, that this show, we do this show. Can we say a small prayer for I was Mr. just going to say we do this show for Mr. George in honor and in memory of Mr. George. Goodbye, Mr. George. May he rest in peace. You will be missed. God bless you, Mr. George. You know, you you sang a sweet song for like 10 minutes and then Dimitri squashed you. Bam! Bam! You don't mess with my show. See, that's the problem. Mr. George did not use full protection. He just used protection. Mr. George's fault was that he wasn't carrying. That's the problem. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. He was a lefty and he didn't want to carry. So he was trying to interrupt our show. <laughs> yeah, he if plant. he'd have been carrying, we'd all been we, you he and I would plant. be. We'd be dead, so. dude. Soros sent him here. You think he was a Soros? That plant? wasn't Mr. That's, George. That was that was, that was George a, that Soros. Was a, that was George Soros. Sor- oh! oh, George Soros, you had yours. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we leave you, Dimitri, with Kalinifta. Oh, now you said something else. Now, what? what is this Kalinik, Kalinikta? Good night. No, no, say the whole thing. I want to try and Kalinikta. get it. Kalinikta. Kalinikta. Kathios Mazisas. Good night, and may the Lord be with you. Good night, and may the Lord be with you, especially you, George. <laughs> you really, really need that right about now. We'll see you next week. We'll pick up on... Networking. I'm not sure whether we'll do three segments or four. We'll, I guess, when we when we when we listen to this one, we'll be like, well, we like the three, or we don't like the three. We're going back to four. So, I guess you'll find out next week. Oh, is the show over already? Show's over. You can go home now. Oh, Please God. get out of my freaking house. Seriously, dude, you now. have no beer. Now get out, out of my house. I'm out. All right, I'm outie too. <laughs>